Welcome to our devos as we conclude this week of start again. We have been talking about starting those goals again that we have let go, starting those plans, those visions that God has put in our heart that we have let go, maybe concerning our our spiritual lives, our prayer lives, concerning our marriages, concerning our finances even, concerning how we view our physical health, those things that we deemed important at the beginning of the year, now that we're in the middle of the year, they become forgotten. And even they kind of go by the wayside. So today, the ultimate thing that we have to do whenever we are looking at doing anything, and this is so infrequently done, is we have to consider the impact. Consider the impact. Like, why are you, do you even care about doing the thing that you want to do? Like, what difference does it make for you if you can pray as much as you want? Like, who cares if you are able to read as many books as you want? Who cares if you're able to know the scripture? Like, really, what does it make a difference? I think we often take different things that we see other people doing, and we tend to want to do those things because we see other people doing them, but we don't really consider the impact that it's going to have on our own lives. We don't ever evaluate if this is something that we should even be worrying about doing in the first place. Because if we consider the impact, if we consider what it's going to have on our relationship with God, our relationship with our families, our relationship to church, our relationship to the the people that matter most to us, If we consider those impacts, maybe, just maybe, we'll care more about doing the thing that God wants us to do. If you look at Proverbs chapter 16, verse 3, I love this. The writer says, commit your work to the Lord and your plans will be established. How can you commit a work to the Lord if you don't even know why you're doing it? How can you commit a work to the Lord if you don't even know what you want the Lord to do in your work? How can you commit a work to the Lord if you yourself find that you don't even want to be doing the thing that you're doing, you don't even know why you want to do it, and you forgot your why, you forgot the motivation, you forgot that that deeper meaning behind you just starting something. Once you realize that this is something that's going to impact those around you, not just you, not just your children, but maybe people that your children know, once you realize that, committing those plans to the Lord, committing starting again fresh to the Lord may become a game changer for you. Recognizing that God does want to work with you, not against you. That God, if he gives you the goal, if he gives you the dream, if he gives you the desire, he wants to enable you, even though the road may be rocky to accomplish the plans that he's placed in your heart to begin with. So let's go back to that first day and ask, what is it that you've let go? What one thing have you cast to the side because life has gotten in your way in 2022? I want to encourage you to go back to the beginning and think of what impact your, what impact it would have on your life if you were able to maintain the thing that God told you to do? What impact would it have on your finances and your marriage? What impact would it have in your mental health, in your physical health? What impact would it have in your relationship to Jesus himself? And then commit that thing to the Lord. And don't be afraid to start again.